Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Adrienne. Hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm getting ready to do a sort of military academy haul with my son, Gabriel. Um, as some of you, most of you should know by now, my son is leaving um, this week actually. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what the whole, um, I guess, process is as far as packing. Um, we got like a packing list, like a specific packing list. Um, and there's like certain items that he needed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you the list first and then we're gonna go over like everything that he has. So yeah, take a look. So this is the list right here and I folded it. If you see it folded in places, it's because um, I folded where the name of this academy that he's going to is and um, also the name of his commandant. So anyway, this is the clothing list for the summer class. Um, and I've like marked all over it because y'all, it was a process getting everything that he needed. Um, so yeah, the first thing that we have that I've circled up here at the top, this is what he's actually gonna wear to the academy for his in-processing day. Um, so that's one t-shirt, and the t-shirts are all gray. So one t-shirt, one pair of shorts, one pair of white underwear, one pair of crew socks, and one pair of running shoes. Um, so that's what we have right here. We just got these running shoes off of Amazon. Um, his pair of socks is right there, underwear, and then, like I said, the shorts and the shirt. Um, they both they requested that both of these come in gray. Like everything has a specific color, basically. Um, these shorts actually were the hardest thing on the list to find because a they have to be light gray. They had to have no pockets, and then they had to be like a certain length, um, and they had to be like uh, the, the elastic had to be in the waist. So it was really difficult to find these initially. It took me forever, but I finally got them online and these four pairs were like 60 bucks. <laughs> so this whole thing was definitely not cheap at all. Um, so yeah, the next thing that we have, that, like I said, that's his outfit to wear the day of. So everything else that has to go in his suitcase is um, let me see if I can get closer. So three t-shirts and again, light gray, playing with no logo, um, no v-neck or pockets. So that's the three t-shirts. And then next is the three shorts. Those are the three gray shorts that were like super difficult to find because like I said, they had to be light gray, cotton, plain with no logo or pockets. Um, so yeah, that was difficult. Then we have his um, sweatpants and sweatshirt. Um, the sweatshirt had to be gray. The pants could be any color. Um, I just went ahead and got him gray just because it, I don't know, just it was the easiest thing. Um, most of the stuff we got on Amazon, we got some things, like I said, I bought online from, where did I get the shorts from? I can't remember because we went to Dick's and they didn't have them there. We went to Walmart, we went to Target. Like we went somewhere everywhere and they didn't have it. Um, but anyway, moving on, next we have the bathrobe and this is a calf length bathrobe. It's just solid gray. Um, he's gonna be washing his own clothes there so I just kind of got things in as many of the same colors as I possibly could just to kind of make that a little bit easier. Um, next we have the underwear. So he got seven pairs of white underwear. We ended up having to get two packs um, because they only, <laughs> they came in like six. I think we got these from Walmart. So that's his seven pairs of underwear. Then we have the socks. So he had to have seven pairs of crew socks. And again, white, no logo. So we actually got this, we got this from Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. And then we, I realized like, oh, he needs like two more. So we went to the Dollar Tree and got these extra little um, socks right here. Okay, and then next we have uh, two pairs of black compression shorts. So thigh, leaf span thigh length spandex. These I got on Amazon. Also, um, they're just a solid black. Um, then we have one wristwatch, and that's what's in this little box right here. Probably, I think maybe you can wear this the day of, so you can just take it out of the box um, when you leave. But this is the wristwatch, and it had to be black. Um, no, like, no other colors. So they were specific about no blue or red. 
Um, let me see, is it gonna focus? You have to like cup it in your hand. Yeah, there we go. It's just a regular wristwatch. I think I got this off of Amazon also. So, and it has like different settings on it. So hopefully that will be okay. It doesn't really go, other than the color, it doesn't really have any detail. Well, it just says no more than $25 spent on the watch, which it was, and I think this is like 14 or $15. All right, moving on. Next is the shaving bag. And that's what this is right here. This is actually, this bag belonged to my father. Um, and so I just let him take, he's used it for like years now. So hopefully he'll take care of it when he goes there. But go through the different, like you can sit it down and then go through each item that's inside. So inside of his um, toiletry bag is first, well, there's the razor. Um, and this is like our first time buying a razor for Gabriel. Um, mm -hmm. I guess he'll be shaving his little mustache off you're funny <laughs> no that's probably what they're gonna have you do um there's the chapstick because your hair is gonna be cut you have to cut like they're gonna cut all the boys they give them buzz cuts then there's the shaving cream i think we got this from the dollar tree all right so this is the unscented body wash they could get soap or body wash and we just i chose the um, body wash for him and the toothbrush holder he's gonna take one of these out which one do you want the blue one Both. You can only take one. Um, there's his toothbrush. We just got him a new one from the Dollar Tree. And the deodorant, he got this Old Spice from Target. And then he got this uh, cinnamon mouthwash. They, so the mouthwash had to be alcohol free. Um, and I think we got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm not really a fan of cinnamon, so hopefully you'll like it. Um, and he also got the toothpaste, some Crest toothpaste. And so that's the toiletry kit. Um, and then the other items that he needed were the two cans of black shoe polish. So that's what this right here is. This is the Kiwi. I think we got this from Target. Um, and then the combination lock. And I tried actually, because they had three different colors. They had like a lime green, this red, you have to cup it so that it will focus. They had the lime green, this red, and they had a blue. And I was trying to stay from, you know, stay away from the red and blue. For whatever reason, they sent me red. Um, but they weren't specific about the color of um, the combination lock, so hopefully it'll be okay. These are the envelopes because he's gonna be writing back and forth. So we got him envelopes from the Dollar Tree. Also, we got um, paper as well as um, the stamps also from the stamps we got from UPS. Um, let's see, is that it? So the only other thing that he may need eventually is gonna be basketball shoes because um, they are gonna have an opportunity to play basketball. So if he gets on the team, then I'll have to send him some basketball shoes for that. Um, also, they have to have, so like I told you, they're gonna be having their hair cut. Let me get in some more better lighting okay here we go so they're gonna be all the boys have to cut their hair I think the girls have to wear theirs a certain way I think pulled back or something in a ponytail something like that but the boys are gonna all have boy cuts or buzz cuts <laughs> the boys are gonna have buzz cuts and so they have to pay for their haircuts so we had to send in um, $15 which covers the first two haircuts and then um, they're also gonna be getting and like an allowance or like a yeah like an allowance they're gonna get paid i don't know how often like either weekly or bi-weekly or whatever but basically it's a small amount like a really small amount but they have to save half of it and then part of it has to go so like they save part of it part of it goes towards their haircuts that they have to pay for and then whatever's left over they have to themselves which i don't it's not going to be much probably like five dollars maybe six dollars something like that um so anyway, two envelopes that we also have to put together is uh, $15 in it for the money for the haircut, and then $18.50, $18.50 for his Boy Scout dues. This was like, it was honestly a little bit stressful, like getting everything. Like I said, those shorts, those gray shorts nearly drove me insane because we went to so many different stores and it was like, to find gray shorts that have no pockets, no logo, you know, the light gray, cotton, 
it was really, really difficult, like really difficult. Um, and the website that they suggested, the Sophie.com, we went there and they didn't have his size. Um, and then I was trying to order it like on, like over the phone and I was having issues there. So anyway, this was a process. Um, so my son is opening up some of his stuff right now because I'm getting ready to wash like all the clothing items I'm going to wash those all together and um, let him fold everything up and put them in his bag we have this um, uh, what is this called the Osprey Porter these are our traveling bags so that's what I'm just letting him take to put his clothes in he has the red one um, and then me and Ava have one as well um, that's the 46 liter I believe um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash everything, take all of his toiletry items like out of, whoops, focus, focus. I'm gonna take all of his toiletry items out of the, um, out of their like packages or whatever and put those in his toiletry bag. So during this time period, like Gabriel will not have access to any like technology. Um, the first, is it the first month? The first month he will not be able to use the phone so we'll just be writing and then after the first month um he'll be able to make like one phone call a week to me um but other than that like he won't have access to internet um tv or anything like that so it's it's i think it's going to be really beneficial like i said for him to like focus and uh, learn some skills and you know be in be able to like be around other men because that's something that he has like lacked for pretty much all his life like a consistent male role model you know that that's something that he hasn't had so i'm looking forward to it i'm happy about that i'm happy that you know he'll be able to um be around other men and then also um he will have the opportunity to get his ged and also his high school diploma so i think everyone gets a ged but then if he um like really bunkers hunkers down then he'll be able to get his high school diploma as well so i'm like yeah you could be like 16 um because he'll still be 16 in december and have all of your you know basic education out of the way um and then you know from there he'll just figure out like next steps like he's thinking about military so um we'll see we'll see what happens this is definitely like i said it's been a process but i feel confident that um a this is what he needs right now and b that in the long run it's gonna be like beneficial for our whole family so anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed it i will See you guys in the next video. Peace out.